have here for you an unboxing of my latest purchase from Diamond Art Club. It's called Aris by Josephine Wall. Um, if you're new here, welcome. And if you are one of my subscribers, welcome back and thank you so much for your support. So I'm going to go ahead and open this and be right back. Right, I'm back and I have removed the plastic wrapping of the box. If you haven't ordered from Diamond Art Club before, um, they, they always package their kits in a box. And then this box is oftentimes um, packaged inside an outer box. And depending on, um, I guess, um, where you get it from, who shipped it, or you know what location? I guess it comes with that white box. I'll insert a picture here. Or sometimes it just comes with the plain um, brown box. So um, just want to let you know that's that's how they package it. Um, so it's very well protected. Once there was. Uh, it was raining and my package was left outside um, and my kit wasn't damaged. The box wasn't even damaged because, again, you saw that there was a plastic wrapping. So um, this is the standard. It has some information. So if you happen to see that this um, at Joann's or any um, stores, uh, you, you, you can tell right away what's inside the box. Um, there's some instructions, like basic instructions on how to diamond paint, and that's it. Um, <clears throat> there's two types of drills, a square and round, and they clearly specify in the on the box whether it's a square drill or round drills. So let me, let me go ahead and open this <clears throat> and not delay the unboxing. Okay, so as you can see, there's more. Always check. All right. As you can see, um, there's another plastic wrapping. So again, even if that box is damaged or um, if, if it gets wet, you know, your canvas is still going to be protected. And even the drills is going to be protected. The only thing that's outside this plastic covering is the toolkit. And this is what they call the old version of the toolkit. Now it comes in like a flesh-colored one. And that's how you can easily tell whether it's new or not. Um, it comes with the basic... Uh, items if you haven't received any um, Diamond Art Club kit. So first things first you have the uh, additional Ziploc bags or baggies. I'm just going to put that back. back. And then you have a tray. You have a four placer. You have the pen and you have the squishy or foam grips. <clears throat> and then you can put the multi-placer on the other end. And I'm just going to put that back. And then you have the tweezers. The tweezers only comes if you have a square um, kit, a square diamond kit. And um, it's pointy, so it helps with uh, picking up those drills. So my camera is focusing and showing you how sharp this is. So it's important to always keep it in the copper like that. <clears throat> and then you get two heart wax so there's a plastic covering if again if you have in diamond paint before you need to remove one to get the to get to the wax i have seen some <laughs> um, newbies who posted that they they can't get the wax because they didn't realize that there's a, pl a plastic covering in there and then next is you get a sticker like this and people have used this differently they sometimes use it outside of the box to like label the box so that when they're storing it they can see um, based on that sticker what that box is for and easily find it because people tend to have large stashes of diamond art club kits because they're really good quality and like for this one this is discontinued right um, it was just released and it's just discontinued because they're not renewing the license with oh my god I already see all those stars and uh, okay, I was just going to continue. This is this continued kit. So um, if you didn't get to buy this at, when it was released two Saturdays ago, then you missed it. You, the only way you can get this now is if you um, get it from a D-Stash or if you buy from a different company. Um, I know Diamond Painting Deutschland sells it, but it's going to be different rendering and different size and different number of drills. So... Um, I grab one because this is my sign and I've never um, done a 
Josephine Wall with Diamond Art Club before, and I've been he hearing good things about it. And I'm just gonna go and adjust my camera. Um, tilt it a bit, oops. Okay, I think that's better. Um, excuse my trash over there. <laughs> I'm cleaning. <laughs> okay, so um, this is gorgeous, you guys. So the first thing I want to say is, like, as soon as you open the um, any kit you get from Diamond Art Club, except for the ones that had issues, uh, the standard is that it's going to be scalloped. Uh, that's given it's always like that but the standard is it's gonna have this really soft backing and it's it's um, so soft like a, like velvet soft um, and this is what I love most because I have like this kind of sensory thing where I like to caress <laughs> my kit I guess so I like feeling that softness um, <clears throat> and then the next thing is it's nice quality glue Okay, I have to tell you about this because um, there's something about um, the Diamond Art Club kits that I noticed. Like when you're working on it and as you're placing drills, the, the, they stay stuck really nicely. And once they they cure, they're really stuck there. It's not like you're gonna fear you're gonna have this fear that they're gonna pop or they're gonna get loose. No, it's really nice. So that's one thing that I think um, people don't realize it's not it's not really the feel of the canvas it's the glue i think that's really good quality i don't know maybe it's just me and i really haven't um, researched any of that but that's just how i felt when i'm working on a diamond art club kit and to be honest after i started working on one i got hooked and i've been buying all of these kits because i really loved it you know um it's it's the one that gives me uh, most pleasure out of the other companies the, the other companies are also nice it's just that when you when you work on them you, it's also you also feel good or it's also nice working on them but then when you go back to them you're like oh my god this is this is so much better i miss this that's there's just that feeling i don't know it's hard to, hard to explain so anyway i bought this i made sure that i have this kit because it's it's my sign um, I'm Aris, I'm an Aris, so I, I wanted to make sure I get that. So again, as, look at that, oh my God. Uh, another thing that um, they have on their canvas is the sparkly, like glitter thing. I don't know if you guys notice it or if I can even show it, but the, the, there's like a glitter on it. Uh, I can't make it show, I guess. I don't know, you guys see it? There's like, it glistens, right? You can see it on that white. It's like it got glitter. So that's all over the canvas itself. So I like that part. Oh my God, this is gonna be really pretty. And then I noticed too, that part, the horn. Um, don't know what's gonna happen with the face. There's too much going on with the face, but we'll see. Um, so the first thing is, it always comes with that logo, um, Diamond Art Club, and then their motto, I guess, do what makes you sparkle. And then at the top left is going to be the inventory, and this one has 63 colors. Um, and then it always, always um, also shown at the bottom right. <clears throat> So you have a good option there. Um, whether you start from the bottom or start from the top, you will have access, unless it's a really big canvas like the Beast, um, you will have access to the inventory or partial access to the inventory if you're rolling it up. Um, and then at the bottom, you'll have a description of the kit, the, the model number, I guess, and then the size. This is 70 by 88. And you'll have like a thumbnail picture of what the original art looks like, and then the artist, and of course, Diamond Art Club again. At the center, you'll have the information about Diamond Art Club, and um, you have the hashtag, and you have um, a coupon code. Um, take 10 to so take 10 percent 10 percent off your order so i always order um with a discount code and this is just their warranty at the bottom right i always order with a discount code i never order without it um the, maybe the only time i order without it is when i'm using my reward points because you cannot b combine the two 
Um, so when there are kits that are on sale that are on my wish list, that's when I use my promo code. Um, and I also noticed that I probably going forward will not use it for the whole amount. I don't know. I'm, I have to think about that. Because what happens is if you use your rewards points and you knock down the amount to below 75, then it's no longer free shipping. So think about that. Um, <clears throat> this this time, uh, I didn't use my code here. I paid for this. But um, I did use um, the VIP group code. Um, if you have purchased a kit and from Diamond Art Club directly, then you can go join the Facebook group because I think they do check if you have been, if you have made a, a purchase or not. And then it's run by Diamond Art Club itself. That's why you need to have purchased something from them before you, they allow you to join that group. And then there's a code there for all the VIP members. I just noticed like the volcano up here. Oh my God, that's really nice. Okay, so let's go ahead and check the drills um, anything below 150 is going to be an a b drill so this one would have five um, so 141 134 133 130 and 127 are the a b drills um, diamond art club has their own code for their a b drills um, <clears throat> if you buy a b drills from um, another vendor from a drill vendor you will have to use the DMC code um, but uh, so you'll need a conversion chart to know what is 127 what's the equivalent of that in a DMC code if ever you need one but you don't because you can always get it from Diamond Art Club if you run out or what what not okay Let's just go ahead and go through this quickly. Um, 666, 7-1-2, 37, 33, 640, 550, my favorite, um, 600, 371, 3771, 316, and my first AB is 134, which is the green, and again, this is number four, um, and if you, you need to convert this to a DMC code to know what this is if you ever need to buy one. Okay, moving on. This is the second AB, 133. This is 356. This is the third AB, 141, which is white. Um, yeah. This is 3746, 742, 754. Oh, I have two bags of that. 3727, two bags. Oh, ooh, I love this rose gold. It's like old rose, dusty rose. Right, I love that color 3727. 783. I have two of that. 632. 905. The next one is 3857. 334. 155. 844. Oh, I think this is my fourth AV, which is 130. A yellow, really nice. 841, 310, 823, 340, 336, 325, 335, 300, two bags of 300, 375, 939, 745, 471, oops, two bags of 820. <clears throat> okay, this is the last strip, strip of uh, drills. Um, this is going to be 782. There's two bags of that. 780, two bags of that. Um, 3012, 3856, 645, 938, 904, two bags of 904, um, 895, 127, the last AB, it's kind of like flesh with some blush tint, um, 798, 
Okay, so that's it, you guys. Um, let's go back to the canvas because I forgot to measure it. Ooh. And I just saw my measuring um, tape here. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is going to be hard to measure. So how are you going to see? Okay. Mm. This is going to be 70. I'm just going to go and roll that. Okay. That's on point. Can you see? 70. This is good. And I'm just going to go to the other end and um, measure if it's 88. Yeah, <laughs> this one is perfect. There's no, like, it's not missing anything. It's, it's on point, on the dot. <clears throat> okay, so that's it, you guys. I am, I'm not sure if I'm going to have time. The reason I unboxed this right away is because a friend of mine is... <laughs> <laughs> convincing me to join several events and enter a J Josephine Wall um, kit in those events. And so I have to do an unboxing before I do that, right? Um, so I'm going to have to go and kit up really, really quickly. And there's 63 colors. So I don't know if I'm going to have time to display the ABs. If I do, I'm going to add that at the end. If not, then it's going to be goodbye at this point. Um... So I'm going to go ahead and say, oh my God, I keep forgetting so many things. I forgot to show you this. So when I unrolled the kit, this too came with it, okay? Um, it's the inventory sheet. And some people likes to uh, take a photo of this sheet. So I'm going to do it that way. And then this is again the step-by-step -step instructions so it's not it's very basic i would uh, rather recommend that you watch um, youtube videos if you want to learn how to diamond paint um, so again i want to say uh, goodbye and i want to say have a good day and have a good night wherever you are thank you so much for watching um, please hit the subscribe button if you want to continue supporting my channel and watching more of my videos um, hit the like button on your way out um, that helps a lot and then also, if you want to get notification whenever I upload a new one, hit the bell button so you'll get that pop-up saying, oh, Crystal has a new video. So again, bye. Thank you so much. Okay, guys. So um, before I get started and um, point out the different ABs and their placement, I just want to say that... Um, there were some people who didn't like this style because um, they they thought that I placed the ABs on the canvas, um, and it's not. Um, there's still plastic on here, um, and I just placed the ABs on top of the plastics just so you can see where they will go exactly. Um, unfortunately, I got too excited in kidding this up, and as you can see, I already put down my washi tape for sectioning off the uh, canvas so I apologize for that I got so excited and I didn't think to do this before putting on the um, washi tape and I didn't want to take it off and put it back again so I apologize for that so um, if this is something that's gonna bother you you may want to um, just end the uh, watching this video and um, uh, you know exit the video because um this is basically the end of it um <clears throat> but for those who are interested i'd like to show you um where the ab's are gonna go um this is not exact science um i just sprinkled them in the areas where they where i found them and um it is possible that i missed some of them and also, um, I want to say that I purposely missed the section of the horn because that's uh, loaded of ABs. And it's going to be difficult for me to pluck it out and separate them and put them back in their storage separately later on. So I did that on purpose. So let's go ahead and get started. This is the first AB, 
127 and as you can see it's got that peachy cream um, tint this is not white um, and if you look at the canvas you'll see them um, I use this container because it has so much um, it didn't fit my um, regular container that's uh, cylinder si cylinder size so I use that so it's going to be all over the canvas as you can see all the cream that are there now I want to get to the white AB which is number five 141 and and tell you the difference on where they are okay and I'm gonna move um, so I'm gonna try not to jerk my hand as much as possible but I again if you have um, what do you call this motion sickness I apologize um, I'm trying not to shake it as much as possible but let me zoom in um, my camera and show you an example of where the white ABs, the 141 are going to go. You see that cross? So 141 or the white is um, used mo most commonly on the constellation and anywhere you see a cross pattern. So it's like a it's like something to the sparkle the sparkle of the canvas is where the the ab is placed it's also used um um no no it's used mostly for that so this is where most of the a um the swirl type of thing of the white abs you can see the on this flower is like the I don't know what you call that, like the bud of the flower, I think, going out um, is where you'll find it, the swirl. Um, the other one, which is the flesh one, the 127, it's clustered um, wherever you see a cream colored sections in the canvas. It's clustered um, placing of it. Um, so that's, the, that's the, the difference between them. It's also used for outline. This is the... 127 um, and then we can go over here and get closer um, these are mostly 127 um, there's not a lot of ones here the ones are I mean the ones the the white ones are scattered mostly down here and the constellation and as you can see here it's like they're really very white okay there's some on her hair here, um, but uh, this one is a mix. Um, see, there's, there's another star cluster, star, like cross, not star, sorry, cross cluster. So whenever you see a cross, that's where the white mostly landed. Okay, so um, those are the two ABs that are close in color right there. Um, when you put them together, they don't really look close to each other in color or shade. But when they're on the canvas, it's possible to miss them. Like, I thought this is white, but it, no, this is the creamy one. Um, but you can see the white where it is at. Um, so the next one is two um, or 130, the yellow. Um, again, uh, you're going to see it highlighting the, 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 what do you call this, the legs. Um, the flowers, mostly on the flowers. Um, there's some down here, flowers as well. And then the night sky is gonna have some yellow. Not night sky, the, 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 the sunshine. The sunshine rays is gonna have some yellow. Why did I say night sky, duh? And then um, number three, this is the least amount of ABs, which is the orange, and they're concentrated in the volcano. Um, and then there's like spots, like little spots there, like a few here. I know there's like a few like there, <laughs> like one piece, two pieces um, of orange. There's some, there should be some over here. Oh, no, no, there's none. Uh, just, just the little bit, bits here. That's it. That's it. Yeah, there's no more number three. And then I think a little one piece here and one piece there. Uh, uh, two pieces here that's how uh, a, a small cluster here and then again some pieces over here that's where the orange is going to go now the next one is the green and I had to use it mostly on this side if you can see they're all 
on the left side of the canvas. A lot of it goes, went here and some on her hair. Okay, um, there's some on the, uh, I don't know what is this, like a, it's like a flower ring um, that she's holding on to. It's made of flowers or leash. I don't know what you call it. I thought, oh, there should be some more um, yellow on the zodiac sign itself, but I missed that. Sorry. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, those are where the green are going to be. There's some here outlining. There's some more there. Again, it's prevalent on this side and less on that side. Not that much green on that side. So yeah, it's pretty much scattered throughout the canvas. And I I think the the most um, pop is the volcano one, the orange, and then all the rays, the yellows, right? The sunshine rays and even the flowers on the yellows. Those two are the most prevalent one. Um, I was thinking of changing the, the stars over there to crystal yellow but maybe it will overpower the constellation. I don't know, I uh, haven't made up my mind on that one, but yeah, I'm thinking about replacing the drills over there. So guys, what do you think of this? Is this something that bothers you? I didn't e even um, expect to hear that, but I wasn't um, thinking that it will be a problem. I like, I'm a, visual person and like and I like the idea of seeing it so if you haven't um, received the kit will you be interested in seeing um, where the AABs are going to go as opposed to just being pointed out um, I have done it in uh, some of my past videos um, and I will continue doing it until someone screams stop doing it <laughs> no I'm just kidding um I don't know. I'm going to continue doing it as much as I can. I actually thought of skipping it on this one because, again, I'm rushing to get the, this kitted up because the event started March 1st and today is March 15. So I have, uh, there's already, you know, I'm late, 15 days late. So I was rushing to get this um, film and set up. But um, I still did it. I still did the, and excuse my phone, I still did the AB placement um, because I really want to continue doing that if I can. If, 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 if it's going to offend people, more people, then maybe I'll stop. Um, there's no point of doing it if it's not going to be helpful and if it's going to cause more damage. Let me go zoom at the, the horn part. Um, when I was uh, trying to place the AB drill, I realized it will be impossible for me to separate them out because there's like five, five here followed by one. And I think there's some twos. Um, yeah, it's gonna be troublesome for me. Um, there's there's a, a green um, AB. So I said, you know, um, not being lazy, but I just, I was concerned that I won't be able to um, separate my drills out. But that's where they are. Like, again, like I told you, right? See that that cross pattern? That's where the white is going to be. Um, and then there's like some ones at the bottom of it. So that's, that's what I've noticed. If you see a cross, it's white. <laughs> okay, so I hope this is very helpful to you guys. I hope you enjoyed seeing it this way. Um, if you do and you have some... Um, kits that you want me to unbox and show this way let me know maybe i have it i have um what do you call this um collected quite a stash i have um not all but i have a lot of the mandy manzano princess panels that i collected <laughs> um but i'm still looking for some i'm looking for um Rapunzel right now, The Lost Princess. So I'm looking for that. Um, but I do have some. Um, the next one I'm going to be working on for that is Mulan. So if you want to see something like this on Mulan, which I think it only has two AB, so it shouldn't be that hard. Um, let me know. I'll do it for Mulan. Um, and that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you subscribe. Bye.